On the commencement. Dialogue 1. Hello, going to the commencement? Yes, I suppose you're going there too. Sure, let's go together. Who's going to make the opening speech? The president of our college. Who's going to present the diploma? It's a secret. Have you given your graduation invitation to your friends? Yes, and I invited my parents to come as well. Dialogue 2 Hey, congratulations! Thanks, you too. We should be proud of ourselves. After all these years slaving, I wouldn't miss the commencement for anything. Yes, I agree. Did you pick up your robe yet? Yes. How about you? Not yet. I'm going there now. Okay. So I'll see you there later. Sure. I'll meet you there. We definitely need to talk. Yes. See you later. See you. Birthday Party Dialogue 1 Happy birthday! You look so beautiful tonight. Thank you. This is for you. Oh, you are so sweet. Why not open it? Sure. Oh, it's a cat. It's so cute. Don, I really don't know how to thank you. I'm glad you like it. Her name is Lily. This is really a nice name. Dialogue 2 Happy birthday, Anne. Many happy returns of the day. Here's a present for you. Thank you, Peter. Come into the dining room. We're going to cut the cake soon. Okay. Who's that girl? That's Kathy. She's pretty, isn't she? She likes dancing. Go and ask her to dance. Well, I don't know. Don't be afraid. She isn't going to bite you. Who's afraid? I'm not afraid. Then come on, please. At the wedding ceremony. Dialogue 1 Great! So you're here with Mark. I've been looking all over for you. Congratulations on your marriage, Jane. And nice to meet you, Paul. Thank you. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, a grand wedding party. Have you opened the gift I gave you? Yes, thanks a lot. Hawaii is a nice place for the honeymoon. What wedding gift did she give you? Two plane tickets to Hawaii. I want to thank you as well, Mark. I love the picture. It's just what we need. I'm glad you like them. It's late. I think I'll have to go now. I'm leaving too. Let me give you a ride. Dialogue 2 Here is my invitation for you. Thank you. Let me have a look. Your wedding will be held on next Friday? Yes, as you see. Congratulations! Thank you. Will you come then? Of course I will. You are my best friend. Your best friend has a request for you. What is it? Would you like to be my bridesmaid? Oh, I'm glad to. I will make good preparations for it. In the Beauty Salon Dialogue 1 How can I help you? Well, I have oily skin, and there's always small bumps here and there on my face. They are really irritating. How can I get rid of them? Well, I would suggest that you wash your face often. Every night you should rinse your face with lukewarm water, then pat it dry with a clean towel. Make sure you don't rub it dry. Then you apply this cream to your face. Oh, this cream? 
Yeah, it's pretty effective in wiping out pore clogging dirt and oil. It rids your face of dead cells and helps stimulate circulation. Dialogue 2 Do you know anyone who's had plastic surgery? You mean like breast enlargement? I don't think that's really necessary. That's not the way a woman should stay attractive. Why not? Why can't we go back to the way things were? Cause... I don't know. But Connie, you wouldn't do that, would you? Darned right I would. Maybe makeup would be enough. Come on, Liz. Be open-minded. I really hope surgery can wipe out the tired feelings. But what would other people think? I don't care what other people think. I'm ready for a lift. At the Barbershop Dialogue 1 How would you like your hair today? The same style as usual? I have a special party to attend tonight, and I'd like to change my style. What about a perm? It sounds nice. Here are some samples of hairstyles. What do you think about this one? No, I don't like short hair. I like this one. The wave looks beautiful, and it fits my age, too. Very well. You are not in a hurry, are you? No, you can take your time. Oh, I also want a manicure while I'm having the perm. Okay. The manicurist will be right here. Thank you. How much will these two cost? It's $90 in all. Dialogue 2 Good afternoon, sir. Please sit here. A haircut and a shave, please. How would you like your haircut, sir? Short on both sides, not so much off at the back. Okay, do you want me to trim your beard? Yes, please. Now have a look, please. Is it all right? Well, I would like my hair cut shorter on the temples. Do you want conditioner? No, thanks. But I'd like a facial massage. In the gym. Dialogue 1. Hi, Mary. Hi, Jack. You look very healthy. Do you often take exercise recently? Yes, I do. I go to the gymnasium twice a week. That's good for you. What do you often do at the gym? There are many apparatus, such as running machine, dumbbell, dynamic bicycle, etc. Oh, that's too much for me. I want to do some light sports. For girls, yoga, bodybuilding exercise, and dancing are good choices. That sounds interesting. I'd like to go and have a try. Don't hesitate anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks for your information. You're welcome. Dialogue 2 I have been noticing you for quite a time. You look really strong, man. Thank you. I have kept taking exercise here for almost two years. Two years? That's amazing. I have only been here for two months. I don't think I can hold this on consistently and persistently. It's nothing difficult. You need to make yourself a plan at the beginning. Then just do according to it. Good idea. I also want to have strong muscle like yours. It is quite attractive. Do you have any advice? Sure. The bodybuilding apparatus are necessary for you. After exercise, you need to eat food contains carbohydrate. I will do as you said. Okay, I can't wait to see your progress. Thank you. It's very kind of you. You are welcome. Buying a house. Dialogue 1. Hello, I'm calling about the apartment you advertised. Yes, 
What kind of apartment are you interested in? I'm interested in a one bedroom. Do you have any available? Yes, I have one. When do you need it? Sometime around next week. Well, it's actually a one bedroom apartment. May I come over tomorrow to take a look? Sure. What time would you like to come? How about 10 a.m.? Good. May I have your name, please? My name is Blanca. Thanks for calling, Blanca. I'll see you tomorrow. Dialogue 2 The apartment looks pretty decent. Around 120 square meters, right? Yes. What about the surrounding area? Very quiet and safe, and it's got a lot of trees and plants. That's good. Is the location easily accessible? Yep, it's near a bus stop. Hmm. Well, maybe we can buy this one then. When can you make a decision? I'll phone you as soon as possible. Renting an apartment. Dialogue 1. I've been told you might have a vacant room. Yes, I have a spare room. Would it be okay to look at the room now? Would you come here in 20 minutes? We are right here in the middle of dinner. This apartment looks nice. Yes, it has two bedrooms. That's convenient. How much is the rent? 2,500 yuan a month. This apartment is nice, but I'd like to find a cheaper one. Dialogue 2 I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking for a room. Yes, I've got a small room. How much do you charge? $35 a week, but don't allow smoking. Okay. Anything else? Also, you can't have visitors, that's all. No problem. Can I see the room now? Would you mind waiting? I'm on the telephone. Well, take your time. I'll come back in a minute. See you. Buying a car. Dialogue 1. Did you go to the auto show yesterday? You mean the car exhibition in the exhibition center? Yeah, it is awesome. Unfortunately, I was quite busy yesterday, so I did not have time for it. Tell me something about it. There were many different kinds of cars of various brands, like BMW, Audi, and QQ. Those big car companies displayed their latest high-tech cars. Sounds interesting. Which car do you like most? I really don't know. They're all great. Actually, I'm planning to buy a car recently. Would you like to come with me? That's great. How about this Sunday? That's a deal. Dialogue 2 Oh my god, there are so many cars here. Which one should I choose? How about that black Honda over there? The car is okay, but I don't like the color. Black looks kind of gloomy. What do you think of that red Audi? It seems terrific. Of course it is terrific, but I'm afraid I cannot afford it. It is too expensive. Oh, look over there. I bet you will like that one. Which one? That white Toyota Vios over there. It looks bright and graceful. Yeah, you are right. Let's have a test drive first. In the car rental shop. Dialogue 1. How much is it to rent an economy car? $19 a day, or $129 a week. Is the mileage limited? No, unlimited mileage. Could I have one for tomorrow morning? Do you have your driver's license? Sure, here it is. 
Good. Now, just complete this form. Okay. Thank you. Dialogue 2 What's the rate for a station wagon? The daily rate is $32 plus 39 cents per mile. Good. I'll take it right now, if possible. Can I see your license, please? Of course. I have my own license and an international license. That's fine. Fill out this form and let me see your credit card, please. Oh, sorry. I forgot to take my credit card. That's okay. You can pay in cash. That would be better. Filling the gas. Dialogue 1. Fill it up with regular, please. All right. Any other problems? I don't know much about it. What's your idea? Should I take a look at your battery? No, thanks. I'm in a hurry. How much is it? Ten dollars, please. Here you are. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Fill it up with premium, please. Sure. Should I check your radiator? No, that's okay. How much do I owe you? That's ten dollars. Fine. Do you want your windshield cleaned? Okay, thank you. But I don't have enough time. Please be quick. No problem. How much is it? It comes to ten dollars, too. Parking fee. Dialogue 1. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please give your parking card to me. Here you are. Your car has been parked here for two hours. How much is it charged per hour? Five yuan per hour. So I should pay ten yuan, right? Exactly. Here is twenty yuan. Ten yuan back. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Dialogue 2 Do you still have a carport? Yes. Please head in. How much is it per hour? 10 yuan. It's so expensive. It's very common here. You see, we are near the station. And please remember, there is a time limit for three hours. Oh, a time limit? This is an inequality clause. Whatever you say, this is our regulation. All right. I think I have to. At the car beauty shop. Dialogue 1. Good morning. What can I do for you? Good morning. There is a scratch on the surface of my car. Can you help me clean it away? Let me have a look first. Yeah, I think I can. Actually, I think it is better to give your car a thorough car care. Is that necessary? I think it looks all right. Well, when you take a closer look, you will see the lacquer on the surface is slightly shedding and the luster is lost now. Oh, I didn't notice that before. So I guess you are right. I'll take a thorough car care. Okay then, let's start. Dialogue 2 You're looking unhappy. What happened? It is my car. Yesterday my nephew accidentally made a scratch on the surface of my car. It looks weird. Oh, don't worry. Why not go to a car beauty shop? Car beauty shop? What's that? It's a shop where can help you renew your car from inside out. So the scratch can be cleaned away? Sure. It is a piece of cake. Oh, thank you so much. I will go there tomorrow. Finding for over speed. Dialogue 1. Excuse me, sir. Didn't you see the red light? Oh, 
I thought I could make a right turn on red here. No, sir. The sign says no turn on red. Oh, I guess I didn't see it. I'm sorry, sir, but may I see your driver's license and insurance policy, please? I have to give you a ticket. Here they are. Sign here, please. You can appeal to the court within 14 days. This slip has all the information you need. Please drive safely, sir. Thank you, officer. Dialogue 2 Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, officer. Would you please show me your driving license? Sure, here you are. Thank you. What's the matter, officer? Madam, you didn't fasten your seat belt. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know that is required. Yes, madam. It's required according to the traffic regulations. Okay, I see. But could you let me go this time? I'm sorry, madam. You have to pay the fine. Traffic Accident Dialogue 1 Hey, you are driving too fast. Look at the traffic sign. It says the speed limit is 40 kilometers per hour. Don't be so serious. There are not many people and cars in the street. We will be fine. Hey, look out! Stop the car! Oh, I can't stop it! No! We just hit the man. What shall we do? Let me check out how the man is. Oh, thank God! He is alive! He is injured. Let's take him to the nearest hospital. It is my entire fault. I shouldn't have driven so fast. What is done cannot be undone. Let's go to the hospital first. Dialogue 2 Hello. Is this tried and true rent-a-car? Yes, it is. What can I do for you? This is Matt. I rented a car yesterday, and I'm afraid I have a car accident near the Central Park. Sorry to hear that. Are you all right? I'm all right, but my wife is seriously injured. Will you call an ambulance and the police? Okay, I'll do it right away, but can you tell me how it happened? I ran into the guardrail when I turned to the right. Repairing Cars Dialogue 1 Hello, is this Adam's Auto Repair Shop? Yes, it is. Can I help you? Yes, please. This is Mr. Butter. I'm calling you about my car. Has it been mended yet? Not yet. It is being mended right now. I see. Tell me, when can I pick it up? Come by at 2 o'clock. I'm sure it will be ready by then. Thank you very much. See you then. Dialogue 2 Hey, buddy. What's up? Not much. But the brake of my car doesn't work very well. Could you check it for me? No problem. Give me a second. Take your time. Ah, I see. It is the pedal's problem. What should we do with that? No big deal. I'll lubricate it. Okay, here you go. Wow, thank you so much. You're terrific. Leaving and Returning Dialogue 1 Hey, Jill. Lovely day, isn't it? Hey, Bill. Long time no see. Yes. How are you getting on? Just so-so. What is the matter with you? You look a little off-color today. I'm recently very busy, also very tired. So I'm very vexed and so annoying. Is this work bone-breaking? Don't mention it. I'll have to do some extra work and come home late each day. 
If there's no future for this company, you might as well pack your bags and try your luck somewhere else. As soon as I can, I'm going to change job. Dialogue 2 Oh, honey, you are eventually coming back. Yeah, work overtime again. You're very busy these days, going out early and coming back late every day. Yes, it is obvious that I have less time with you. Not exactly. Even though you are busy, you still remember to take care about me. You are very hard, too. My schedule is very flexible, and I'm given a lot of freedom. I'm okay. Really? How about preparing dinner for me? I've already done it hours ago. I've been waiting for you. Dinner time. Dialogue 1. John is visiting us tonight. Ah, good. Which would you like for dinner? Beef, chicken, or fish? I feel like some fish and chips for supper. Shall we dress some salad? Yes, it's fine. Let's get some lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers for salad and some of these spices. Garlic, parsley, ginger, and green onions for seasoning. We happen to have all of these. We arranged to come over to us at 6 o'clock. Let's roll up sleeves and begin to prepare for supper. Did you wash your hands well? Not yet. I'll be there momentarily. Dialogue 2 Is dinner ready? Yes, come and get it. What's good tonight? Do you need some help? Today we're having hamburg steak. Wow, chicken noodle clam chowder soup. It's really delicious. Spread a cloth over the table. Strain the fat off before you serve the soup. I'll be right there. Don't spill it. Help me set the table, will you? It's all ready. Fetch your father in for the dinner. He has to make a telephone call first and let us go ahead. Okay, let's eat. Doing the cleaning. Dialogue 1. This kitchen's a mess. We should indeed do some cleaning. Have you anything else to do? Nothing important. Now then, get about the job at once. I will go and wash out one or two rags. What a dump! Especially this side of the glass is filthy. If the oil blur on the surface of the glass is too thick to wipe off with dry cloth, wet the cloth with ether. That goes for me too. I'll bring it over. By the way, could you wash the rags? Please throw me that. Catch, please. Dialogue 2 Nice weather we're having. Yes, but you see, our bedroom's very untidy. Let's clean it up at once. I have some business to attend to and need to go out at once. Would you mind us clearing it up tonight? I'm sorry I was engaged for a shopping this evening. Some other time, then? Please keep your things together. I'll see to the rest. I'm really sorry for that I cannot help you. Oh, never mind. Have you taken your dirty coat? Yes. I've hurled the dirty clothes into the washing machine just now. Okay, you may go. Leave it to me. Watching TV Dialogue 1 what would you like to do this evening? I haven't thought it through. It's okay with TV. Let's check the TV schedule to see what's on tonight. What are the attractions? Nothing at all. Here are all the news. What's on following the news? A pop show on Channel 7, and there is a science fiction on Channel 5. I don't want to watch the news. Let me change the entertainment channel, would you? 
Sure, I do not watch game shows for a long time. Dialogue 2 What channel did you watch last night after I went to bed? Channel 1. I watched an English language program. Pity, there was a football match on Channel 2. Really? That's a shame. You ought to remind me of that. This program is a rebroadcast this morning. You may watch it then. Well, I think I will have to. What come on next? I want to see the horse racing. Me too. Let's watch it together. Tutoring the Child Dialogue 1 When do you take your finals? Is it two weeks before it? Did you revise the lessons before class? Not yet. Pick up your pace. It's getting late. I see, Mom. I'm just going to. Shall we go over your English exercises together? I can do it alone. You have been working for a whole day. Just go to sleep early. Don't worry about me. I'm not tired. All right, then. Where is your exercise book? I cannot find it in your school bag. I have taken it out and put it onto the table. Dialogue 2 How did you do on your math examination? What a shame! I failed in this examination. What are the reasons? That exam was not very hard. As a matter of fact, I have no interest in math. Interest is the best teacher. I believe that it is most important to develop your interest. That's how I feel as well, but I can't work up any interest in it. Do you think you need to join a remedial class? Well, there is no other way. Your midterm exams are almost here. I decide to help you from this evening. What do you think of it? Thanks, Mom. You are really a great mom. Time for bed. Dialogue 1 Did you finish your homework? I have just finished and I want to watch more TV. You have to get up early tomorrow. Hurry up and go to sleep. Okay. Are you ready for tomorrow? Sorry, I'm going to make it up. Have you set up the alarm clock? Yes, I set the alarm for 7 o'clock just now. Make sure you brush your teeth. Brushing them regularly helps to ward off tooth decay. You have said for the tenth time. I won't forget it. Sweet dreams. Thanks, and you too. Dialogue 2 What are you doing, Jack? I'm playing video games. Enough with your video games. It's time to go to bed. No need to go to sleep. It's still early. We'll give you a few minutes to play through. How about ten minutes? You have to get up early tomorrow morning, and you'd better turn in early tonight and get a good night's rest. I see. Okay. It's so hot. Would you like to take a bath? Sounds good. Could you run me a hot bath? Ugh. I am running the bath water. Thanks, Dad. Domestic Expenses Dialogue 1 How much money did we spend last month? No idea, but I keep a record of our costs. What about the living expenses? I have never counted them. Won't you let me have a look? Oh, we barely made both ends meet last month. Yes, our expenses are mounting up. You know, the cost of everything is rising. Take a squint at this. They are rarely needed. Yes, you are right. But I thought they're necessary at that time. We need to keep our spending in check. 
Well, I remember that. We should organize our spending so that we don't live beyond our means. I promise. I will keep a tight rein on expenditure from now on. Dialogue 2 Yesterday I got the gas and water bills. How much is this going to cost? About $300. By what date do we have to pay? This Saturday. I have to drop by the bank to get some money. How much money are you going to draw from the bank? $400. Could you get more money? I have no cash on hand. I'd like to buy our kids' clothes at a second-hand store. All right. I'll go with you. Family Pet Dialogue 1 Son, what do you want for your birthday gift? I'd like to keep a pet. What pet would you like to keep? Guinea pig, parrot, rabbit, tortoise, dog, or... Can I have a Siberian husky? Okay. The husky is unequaled for stamina and endurance. I want to buy a little puppy. I promise you, you'll like it when you see. Dialogue 2 Which of you is going to walk the dog? It's Mary's turn to take the dog for a walk. Okay, Mary, please. Oh, by the way, when was the last time you cleaned out the dog kennel? It smells to high heaven. The exact date has escaped me. Half month ago, maybe? It needs to be well swept out. Hand it over to me. And the dog needs a bath. Carl, run the bath for the dog while Mary walks it. Okay. I'll get ready to go and shampoo him later. Shampooing them too often is not a good idea, as shampoo tends to strip the natural oils out of their coats. Then just bath the dog with clean water. Weekend Plan Dialogue 1 Hey, what shall we do at the weekend? I've no idea about that. What about go skiing? Last Saturday, my colleague went skiing at Holmenkollen, located in Oslo. This is the most famous ski jump in Norway, which is also the biggest in the world. Fantastic! How was that? Really good. They strongly recommend that we should try it sometime. This weekend I'd like to go skiing there. But I'd like to stay at home and keep my grandmother company. I'll go and talk about it to her. Maybe she likes to go with us together. A family trip sounds very good. Dialogue 2 What are your plans for the weekend? I have to work overtime this weekend. What about you, John? This weekend with Lucy, where should I take her? How about going to the cinema? I went to the cinema with her last weekend. Does she like to go shopping? Girls in general like to shop for new clothes. Yes, she spends much of her spare time roaming about the streets. Why not go shopping with her? Well, I think it will have to do. Where are some good places for shopping? You should do some shopping in Wang Fujing Street and Shidan Street. Receiving Guests Dialogue 1 Who is it? It's me, Mary. Could you buzz me in? Sure, come right in. Wow, beautiful home you have here. Thank you. How nice of you come with us. Let me have your coat. Okay, let me take off my shoes first. Would you please leave your bag here? Oh, yeah. Please have your seat. Shall I get a drink for you? Yes, a cup of tea, please. Fine. Enjoy yourself. Thanks.
Dialogue 2 Hey, Jack. Hey, Mary. I'm glad you could come. Come on, please. We are all waiting for you. Is everybody here? Tom's on his way and will be here in a moment. Sit anywhere you like, please. Okay, suppose we wait a while. Can I watch the news on television? Of course. Will you have a drink? I'd like a glass of water, please. There are some fruits and nuts on the table. Do you like eating mango? A nice fresh mango is my favorite fruit. Then have one. Please feel free to make yourself at home. Decorating the Room Dialogue 1 Well, have you bought a place on the lake? Yes, we're having it decorated at the moment. Is it so? We've hired a professional to decorate the house, and we gave them a free hand in doing our apartment over. Is your house the fine repair? Yes. The guest rooms will be furbished with luxurious carpets and fittings. You certainly seem to have cost a lot on the decoration of your house. Yes, it costs me quite some bucks. Dialogue 2 Bill, the bedroom needs doing over. Let me see. Scrape off all the loose flakes of paint before redecorating. But I haven't employed an interior decorator. Why don't we let Bob decorate our sitting room for us? He's a dab hand at decorating. How could we forget him? But I've heard that he's got a very busy timetable this week. Maybe we should wait until next week. Okay, and I'd like to push out new wings of the buildings. We can consider it. Uh, shall we redecorate the parlor? Yes, maybe we can decorate a style concise and lively. Settling down in a new place. Dialogue 1 What day is it today? It's Thursday. I'd like to have a celebration of the occupancy of a new home. That sounds all right. We're all steamed up to move to our new house. What about Johnny? Has he moved to his new house yet? Yes. They established themselves in their new house. Excellent. We're going to celebrate it together. How do you want to celebrate it? Maybe we could celebrate by getting loaded on champagne. Okay with me. It's a deal. I'll take care of his family. Dialogue 2 I'm glad you could come. Come in and have a look at our new house. Congratulations on your move. What is the layout of this house like? Your new house is certainly out of the ordinary. This is a new house with a huge garden out back in a very quiet area of London. That's terrific. I am jealous of you. My boyfriend can't afford a new house, and no more can I. You will have your own in the future. Do come to our house whenever it's convenient for you. The garden will help to take you out of yourself. I hope your new dwelling will bring you and yours lots of fortune and good health. Thanks.